We're here at the Ukrainian border, ready to go in, and I'm here standing with Steve Parker, who's going to uh, tell us a little bit about your mission, what you're doing, and why you're going into Ukraine. Okay, um, one week ago, I decided that this was something that was close to my heart. I'm an ex-soldier. I served in the uh, former troubles in uh, Bosnia uh, back in the early 90s. And I saw the devastation that these kind of situations have on families, young children, and also on soldiers. So I decided to say to some friends, I'm going to take a little bit of things and help them. Within one week, I've brought 16 large vehicles, at least 35 tons of aid, and I've also raised 23,000 pounds in English pounds to help me make this mission happen. That's incredible. And so where, where are you from? Where are you coming from? We're from a place called Essex, um, which is in the southeast of England and the UK. And um, with all my community, my friends, my customers of my business, um, we've all got together and basically made this happen. And this has only happened in one week. This took a whole week to organize. Um, and we've mobilized 32 drivers. 16 vehicles with at least 35 tons of aid. How many trips have you made back and forth? This, uh, this is our first trip. This is the first This trip. is the first trip. And back home, I've been told that I have at least a, uh, a half of an articulated lorry ready to come back over. So people are donating, people are giving support. Why do you think that is? And the people in the UK are very generous people. They're very heartwarming people. They don't like seeing suffering across any, any, any part of the world. And this has brought tears to the people that I live with, my friends, my friends' families, and so on. We have a movement of people in England who are sending messages every single day on our journey, um, wishing us, that, telling us that we're heroes. We're not heroes. The people who are sat here waiting to come here are heroes. But these people want to make this war stop. These people can't stand what's happening. So they're giving as much aid as they can to stop the people who are suffering, suffering any more than they have to. Well, uh, do you know that the 100 kilometers this way, bombs were dropped yesterday onto an airport? You know you're going into war. It's, there is no sense on what's happening out there. There's no sense in anybody bombing any country. Um, so. Are you worried about your safety? No, no, no. How about no, your family? No. You know, obviously, worried? I mean, you know, we're, we're bringing aid and, you know, that, that's it. You know, we're just helping people. We're just giving them freedoms to have a better life. Some money, some food, some medical supplies, um, everything that they need. And we just want to help. That's all we want to do is help. We don't think about anything else. We're not bothered about anything else. We just want to get aid from the UK over to here. And where is your first stop? Where are you going to go? Oh, no, so uh, well, the, the, the first stop is actually here. Okay. Yeah, that's the first stop. And what do you do here? Um, From here on out? Basically, just, um, we, we've got some agencies that we're working with, which I'm going to have to go and disappear to in a second um, to talk about where we go. Okay, fantastic. All Thank right. you so much. No problem at all.